Welcome to OneOneNursing.com. My name is Priscilla. Today we'll be talking about neurotube defects. Neurotube defects are described as um, neurotube defects are developed within the first trimester of pregnancy, and this is due to folic acid insufficiency or um, not having folic acid enough folic acid. This can lead to uh, various stages of neurotube defects. Um, it's unknown, but we know that it's related to maternal dietary use of folic acid deficiency. Clinical manifestation will be higher than uh, detected. The greater the neuro neurologic dysfunction, the um, so it goes along with the brain stem. It's more common in the U.S., ironically, um, sensationary um, impairment, bowel, and sensation impairment, bowel, and bladder infected, affected hydrocephaly. Um, the first part of neurotube defect is anencephaly, where there's no brain development, and it's only the brain stem, and prognosis is very low, very few hours after birth will the neonate live. Encephaly. Basically, protein covers the brain, occurs um, protein and meningeal coverage of the brain is damaged causing defects of the skull. And then, um, then it's uh, spina bifida. This is also related to spina bifida occulta, myocephaly, and myelomencephaly. And there's different stages of spinal malformation and what we want to do um, upon assessment is alpha phenoprotein levels. Alpha phenoprotein levels will detect, and um, most likely the mother will already know if she has a neurotube defect child, ultrasound, increased ICP, and uh, sensational movement. Impairments, uh, planning, and implementation is correct the SAC. Will want to use latex free gloves and um, straight cap, low dose antibiotics, and family education for this.